Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, November 28th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. And just like normal, there's the cat eating her food. Some things never change. And every day she's thrilled to do it. <laughs> and I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus. Jesus. And Mary and the baby. Tomorrow is the first Sunday of Advent, which means the beginning of the Christian year. Advent is one of the times when the liturgical Christians differentiate themselves from the rest of the world, because the rest of the world is sort of beginning to celebrate Christmas. And we can decorate and we can get ready, but there's part of us that's waiting in this season of Advent. So today we finish the prophet Zechariah and we finish reading prophets for a little while. We're going to move into the New Testament in Advent. One thing that has struck me as we've walked through these prophets together is how much they say the same thing. It seems like they repeat themselves in cycles. In fact, sometimes when I read one of the prophets, I can't really tell which one it is. Is it Micah? Is it Ezekiel? Is it Hezekiah? Zechariah? Micah? Amos? There are so many. And all of them are basically warning us to learn how to live a life of discipline so that we can make God our first priority, or we will pay for it. We'll keep on suffering. I wonder why this message had to be repeated so much. But then I think about my mind. I have the same thoughts over and over again. I know you do too. It takes me a while to process something. And when I have to heal from something, I oftentimes I'll take one step forward and one step back. I'll have a really good day and then I'll backtrack. It's interesting, I think we Americans think of um, the process of healing and growing closer to God as being kind of linear, but we need to improve every day. But really a lot of this uh, spiritual life is sort of this organic, cyclical, repetitive process in which sometimes we don't know where we're going or if we're moving forward at all. Prayer is like that. If you dedicate some time to God, Sometimes you'll just be sitting there ruminating about something, not really thinking about God, but if you bring yourself to the place to pray every day and trust that the moving backward and forward, having days of insight and days where you don't do anything but worry about your laundry, <laughs> that in the end, God works through all of that. The Hebrew people were being transformed and it was a slow, repetitive, frustrating process, just like it was for them in the desert. But what happened, according to the Christian tradition, is something beyond reckoning, the coming of Christ. And even for the Jews that still wait, they're waiting for a reason, and their waiting is really long. So don't get frustrated if you feel like in your spiritual life things are not progressing. God made the universe, and God takes time with things. You are simmering, you are becoming wise, even if you don't notice it one day after another. Just keep showing up. I used to say that to everyone in the congregation about the Eucharist. Just keep coming and taking that bread and wine. And it's like a water dripping on a rock. It, it will shape your whole life, but you're not really sure when and how it did that. It just happens gradually over time, over and over and over again. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bring us in safety to this new day in a Thanksgiving weekend that is strange and lonely for many of us. You bring us to the very end of the Christian year with a prophet who had so much courage and who said very similar things to the other prophets. We ask you to guide us, Lord, and give us perseverance above all else in this time of pandemic and of waiting. 
give us wisdom to understand that we don't need to always jump forward every day, but just in trying to follow you, we know in fact it does please you. We ask you to bless those who are ill and lonely today. We ask you to stem the tide of this pandemic. Give us a vaccine, Lord, and help us to disperse it widely and liberally. Give us wisdom from this pandemic that we may care for one another and for this earth. This we pray in the name of Jesus, who gave himself for us and for whom we wait. We wait to see him again. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.